Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. In this today's tutorial, I want to share with you some basic knowledge about arm work in social dancing, salsa and bachata. Yes, I decided to unite these two dances in this tutorial because, to be honest, this is one family. Yes, rhythm is different and basic step is different, but the idea of body work is the same because this, those dances, they have African roots and so they have this special body movement. And uh, I will just quickly remind you how look salsa and bachata basic step just in case, um, because I don't know what is your level. So, and we start with bachata basic step and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and salsa, Los Angeles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I think you already noticed that actually my arm, my arms, they move the same way as in bachata basic step, as in salsa basic step. So, that's why I'm doing this tutorial <laughs> for both styles. And uh, let's start from correct arm position. The very basic thing you want to know that if you are a beginner, your arms should be always on your waist level and make sure that, that they aren't like that, not like this. And they don't have to be so all the time either. So what you really want to, you just want to engage your muscles and you will have just this beautiful, nice fingers, just like that. Also pay attention to your elbows. You don't want to glue them to your body and you don't want to keep them like that. Just make sure that you have enough volume between your body and your elbows and it looks nice. So for this you need a mirror to look at yourself. So look at yourself in the mirror, you should be nice like that. So sometimes it's very tempting for beginners when you learn salsa or bachata to have your arms like this and you do some footwork and it's very not comfortable. So if you want to be, if you want to feel comfortable and nice and ready to dance, you need to keep your arms here. Okay, another thing to talk about is um, the how uh, social dancing is natural to natural to our body. Look, when we walk, just when we walk in our normal life outside on the street, uh, you notice that we when we take a step, there is already a twist in our body. And the same princip principle is uh, in social dancing. So when you take a step with your right foot, you have your left arm, so it's opposite arm that moves like towards your right shoulder. So but one more time I will show you just arm work for salsa and bachata. It looks like that. Yes, I do uh, lady styling techniques. So I start with my right foot, but uh, the same you can do for men style too. You can just start with your left foot. But when you start with your left foot, you start with your right arm. When I start with my right foot, I start with my left arm. So it looks like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see, I take a step with my right foot, my left arm goes to my right shoulder. My right arm is over here on hip level. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in my footwork, it's um, we can do it on the base of exercise for uh, preparation for getting to used to salsa and bachata basic step. It looks like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just to practice. And uh, what you really want to get from it is it's um, arm work. So when you 
take a step you wanna really yes i know you are exaggerating here we don't dance like that but this is what will help you to get to used to this coordination to coordinate your footwork and your arm work so at the very beginning it will be very nice if you learn to to do this one two three four five six seven eight and one more time one two three four five six seven eight so after that for you it will be very easy to modify it and to go into bachata basic step like like that one two three four five six seven eight so as you can see i just added a bit extra movement i don't do these shapes anymore but this first exercise that we just did previously it helped me a lot to remember to memorize how my arm work how my arms work the same principle in salsa one two three five six seven one two three five six seven so this is very basic arm work that can help you to start your dancing path in the right way so you won't get bad habits and this basic step you can really <laughs> this arm, basic arm work you can easily adapt for more advanced um, arm work like, like this for example it's like it's going to be the next step for you but now beginning is like that also a very important moment uh, that I discovered for myself and um, when I teach dancing I explain that uh, here there is like a middle of a dancer it's our center center not middle center and uh, when you start any movement any impulse it starts over here so I imagine myself like a star for example and uh, my impulse of my movement goes from here and then it goes through my body like for example if I do arm work I start a movement here then my shoulder blade my shoulder and my wrist and the wrist fingers it's like really a cherry on the top of a cake so when you do arm work you probably want to think that wrist it's important yes it's important but it's not the thing to focus on the thing to focus on is your body your chest over here and when you start your movement here then it goes naturally through all your arm and it finishes here this way your dance looks more consistent more elegant it's like uh, you have like whole picture it's not separated you don't have mess for example like if you will think only about your wrists and then all your body will be like dissoci dissociated <laughs> so i mean every part will be uh, moving separately and it doesn't have this uh, consistent picture and it looks like a mess but if when you have this idea the structure that your impulse of your movement starts over here and then goes through all your arm you think when you dance you think about body you really want to look nice and elegant and beautiful in your body and at the same time you want to feel comfortable in your body so it's beautiful body movement and then you add arm sorry it was a more advanced moment uh, so first you think about your body then your arm and only 10 you just keep your wrist as i told you at the very beginning engaged you just keep your muscles engaged and you just dance till the very end of your fingers and it looks like this as you can see i don't really think about my wrist i really think about my body and about how my movement goes through my chest my shoulder blade my 
uh, elbow and then it finishes at my wrist. This helps to look more elegant in my opinion. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you and uh, I'm going to add some extra details in my future videos. So if you have uh, any comments, any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And um, I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!